If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Please be seated. We begin today's morning prayer with the confession of sin and absolution on page 79. Let us say together. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation, and so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways through the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Page 82 in Book of Common Prayer. Let us recite the Veneti in unison. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Let us recite the psalm on page four in unison. The psalm will be read by whole verse in unison by all when we will pause at the asterisk. So he commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of the heaven. He rained down manna upon them to eat and gave them grain from heaven so mortals ate the bread of angels. He provided for them food enough. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens and led out the south wind by his might. He rained down flesh upon them like dust and winged birds like the sand of the sea. He let it fall in the midst of their camp and round about their dwellings. So they ate and were well filled for he gave them what they craved. A reading from the book of Exodus. The old congregation of the Israelites complained against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. The Israelites said to them, 
If only we had died by the hands of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pot and ate our full of bread. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to rain down bread from heaven for you, and each day the people shall go out and gather enough for that day. In that way, I will test them whether they will follow my instruction or not. Then Moses said to Aaron, Say to the whole congregation of the Israelites, Draw near to the Lord, for he hath heard your complaint. And as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the Israelites, they looked towards the wilderness, and the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I had heard the complaint of the Israelites. Say to them, at twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread. Then they shall know that I am the Lord, your God. In the evening quail came up and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew lifted, there on the surface of the wilderness was a fine flaky substance, a fine as frost on the ground. When the Israelites saw it, they said to one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread that the Lord has given to you to eat. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Please turn to page 86 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let us recite in unison the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws an heir. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion, and to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again, but water the earth, Begrinning forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and propose prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I, the prisoner of the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of you, each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gifts. 
Therefore it is said, when he ascended on high, he made captiv captivity itself a captive. He gave gifts to his people. When it says he ascended, what does it mean but that he had also descended into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is the same one who ascended far above all the heavens, so that he might fill all things. The gifts he gave were that some would be pro apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until all of us come to unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children, tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us turn to page 90 as we recite in unison Canticle 14, a song of penitence. O Lord and ruler of the host of heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of all their righteous offspring, you made the heavens and the earth with all their vast array. All things quake with fear at your presence. They tremble because of your power, but your merciful promise is beyond all measure. It surpasses all that our minds can fathom. O Lord, you are full of compassion, long-suffering and abounding in mercy. You hold back your hand. You do not punish as we deserve. In your great goodness, Lord, you have promised forgiveness to sinners, that they may repent of their sin and be saved. And now, O Lord, I bend the knee of my heart and make my appeal sure of your gracious goodness. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned and I know my wickedness only too well. Therefore, I make this prayer to you. Forgive me, Lord, forgive me. Do not let me perish in my sin, nor condemn me to the depth of the earth. For you, O Lord, are the God of those who repent, and in me you will show forth your goodness. Unworthy as I am, you will save me, in accordance with your great mercy, and I will praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For all the powers of heaven sing your praises, and yours in the glory to ages of ages. Amen.
Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. The next day, when the people who remained after the feeding of the 5,000 saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, very truly I tell you, you're looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, what must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, What sign are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. The Gospel of the Lord. Please turn to page 96 as we recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. 
He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. CJ, we're going to go straight to the offertory hymn.
Please turn to page 97 as we recite the suffrages. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Just turn to page seven in your bulletin. My apologies, page eight in your bulletin. Let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church, and because it cannot continue in safety without your help, protect and govern it always by your goodness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us recite the colics in page 98. O oh God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you, that the week to come may be spent in your favor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us recite together the general thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love. In the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory, and we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you, in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. May the God of hope fill us with all the joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
love and serve the Lord. Congregation, please do not leave. And if you can come forward, I would really appreciate it. Just come forward. Just have some uh, news to share. And I want to make sure that everyone hears everything. If you have any questions, we can answer. So don't be shy. We don't, we're not going to always ask you to come forward. Come and fill up the pews up front. I first want to say thank you for showing up today. I know it for morning prayer, usually, you know, you're not, we're not having a Eucharist, so most folks usually stay home. So thank you for showing up today. Um, first and foremost, uh, do we have any visitors with us today? Hi, how are you? Stand up and introduce yourself, please. <laughs> Oh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> oh, thank you for being with us. <laughs> and is that Wendy I see in the back? Hey, Wendy, so nice to have you back with us. <laughs> yeah. uh, I know you went through a lot, so, you know, I'm happy to see you. Thank you, welcome back. CJ, thank you for being back. <laughs> We missed you. We are grateful for our sub organist, but we missed you. <laughs> so thank you for being with us. Uh, real quick, uh, I'll just go through what we have in the news and notes on page nine. Uh, back to school giveaway, as you know, that's going to be on August 17th. I do know that uh, Veronica Williams, uh, who's organizing this special community event, has been in touch with some of you to help her on that day to organize. And I also know that our Girl Scout leaders, Ms. Uh, Federo and Ms. Seeley, are also going to be there that day recruiting, as well as this young, beautiful young lady that's sitting here with us today. So please come out and support. Whatever you can do to assist, that would be really, really helpful. The ECW raffle, thanks again to those of you who have been supporting. We still have tickets uh, to sell, so please see Ms. Cardoza. I know she has tickets with her today, so please get more raffle tickets. And a reminder, you cannot win if you don't turn in your stubs. So for those of you who sold tickets, make sure that the people you sold them to put their name, at least their name, and even their phone number. You know, we don't need the address. Name, phone number, that is legible. So even if they're not here and we're drawing on September 1st, they're able to uh, get their prizes, okay? I'm just going to jump to the St. John's database. As you know, we are a small church, but we are, you know, keeping up with the times and technology, so we're constantly trying to update our database. So if you look on page uh, 8, I'm sorry, page 10 in your bulletin, you're going to see a form at the bottom. Please fill that out if you feel we do not have your most up-to-date information, okay, so that we can update our database. Homecoming Sunday is going to be 